Number 1. Languages. While both countries have Swahili and English as official languages, Swahili is more widely spoken and is the primary language in Tanzania. In Kenya, English tends to be more commonly used in business, education, and government settings. Number 2. Tourism and Wildlife. Both countries are known for their safaris and national parks. But Kenya is especially famous for the Maasai Mara, known for the annual wildebeest migration. In contrast, Tanzania is home to the Serengeti, which also hosts the migration, as well as Mount Kilimanjaro and Ngorongoro Crater. Number 3. Political Structure Kenya operates a more decentralized government with 47 counties, each with a governor and county assembly. Tanzania has a centralized government structure with less autonomy given to its regions. Additionally, Tanzania includes the semi-autonomous region of Zanzibar, which has its own government and president. Number 4. Economy. Kenya has a more diversified economy, with strong sectors in technology, sometimes referred to as the Silicon Savannah, agriculture, and financial services. Tanzania's economy is more resource-based, with mining, especially gold, tourism, and agriculture being major contributors. Number 5. Chur and Ethnic Diversity Both countries are ethnically diverse, but Kenya's population is more varied, with over 40 ethnic groups, each with its own language and customs. On the other hand, Tanzania also has multiple ethnic groups, though the population is more homogeneous in language and culture, due to the widespread use of Swahili across different tribes. Number 6. The Education Systems Education is another way Kenya and Tanzania differ greatly. For instance, education is highly valued in Kenya, with well-developed primary and secondary school systems, which include numerous private and international schools. It's important to note that Kenya also has some of East Africa's leading universities, such as the University of Nairobi and Kenyatta University. As for Tanzania, education system places a strong emphasis on Swahili as the medium of instruction, with English introduced only as a secondary language. And while primary education is compulsory, the secondary and higher education sectors in Tanzania still face incredible challenges, including limited resources and fewer university opportunities compared to Kenya. Number 7. Culture and Ethnic Diversity Kenya has over 40 ethnic groups, including the Kikuyu, Luhya, Luo, and Kalenjin. Each group has distinct cultural practices, languages, and traditions. Cultural festivals and ceremonies in Kenya are vibrant and varied, particularly due to the blend of traditions, urban culture, and global influences. Tanzania is also ethnically diverse, but Swahili has unified cultural practices across its 120 tribes, which include the Sukuma, Chaga, and Haya. Therefore, the emphasis on Swahili has created a more homogeneous cultural identity in Tanzania compared to Kenya. Number 8. Transportation and Infrastructure Kenya has a generally more developed infrastructure, with better roads, railways and airports. The standard gauge railway, SGR, connects Nairobi to the port city of Mombasa, thus easing passenger and cargo transportation. But that is not all. It's worth mentioning that Nairobi is a major air travel hub in Africa, with Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, JKIA, being one of the busiest. Although improving, Tanzania's infrastructure is less developed, especially in rural areas. The Tanzanian government has projects like the standard gauge railway connecting Dar es Salaam with the central regions. Julius Nyerere International Airport JNIA, in Dar es Salaam is the primary airport but sees less traffic than Kenya's JKIA.
Number 9. Economic Partnerships and Trade Kenya has robust international trade partnerships and is a member of the East African Community and the African Continental Free Trade Area. It has strong trade relations with countries like China, the US, and the UK, and actively promotes exports in sectors like horticulture, tea, and coffee. Like Kenya, Tanzania is a member of the East African Community, an AFCFTA but has traditionally maintained a more reserved approach to foreign trade. As a result, Tanzania focuses more on exports of raw materials and minerals, such as gold and gemstones, while working to build stronger trade ties within Africa. Finally, number 10. Attitudes toward foreign investment and globalization. Kenya is more open to foreign investment and has established itself as a financial and commercial hub in East Africa. Nairobi, for instance, hosts numerous multinational corporations and international organizations, which in turn contribute to its dynamic and diverse economy. On the contrary, Tanzania has been relatively cautious with foreign investment policies particularly in the mining and natural resource sectors. The government has imposed stricter regulations to ensure that the country benefits more directly from its resources, making it less globally integrated compared to Kenya.